Good morning. Um, so my name is Tara, and I um, run Wolf Fitness in Yelverton, and I'm doing a video post today for the shop Inside Out in Tavistock because they are doing a great kind of cause of um, fitness and well-being videos that they're going to be sending out during lockdown um, for all their customers. So I hope this helps. This first video is going to be approximately 10 minutes long, and it is going to be a mobilisation, which is a fantastic. Um, inject into your day either in the morning or in the evening to kind of loosen up, stretch off and mobilise the body ready for the day's activities or as a fantastic pre-workout kind of warm up, okay? So let's get ready. This will be set for anyone's ability, so beginner or advanced, it's always good to mobilise. I like to do it for every workout. So start with your feet hip width distance apart and all we're going to do is we're going to drop down to the floor. Bend the knees generously so there's no stretch on to start with. And as we come up, we're going to come up and roll the shoulders back and down. And we're going to do that four more times. Drop down. And all we're doing is starting to get the blood moving across the body. Inhale, exhale, reset the shoulders. We tend to have our shoulders forward all the time. One more time. Down and roll. Okay, take an inhale. Deep breath in, reach actively through those fingertips. Grasp over the hands, make a kind of pistol with your finger, index fingers pointing up. Inhale, lift up, exhale, side bend. You should feel that stretch now coming down the side of the left here. Not very many times in life do we stretch off our side bodies. And it is a lovely place to create length for the day. Nice, inhale, reach. We're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together as we hinge at the hips. Now know that my legs are straight but they're not locked out, okay? They're not completely locked, they are just straight. And drop the body weight down. Relax all the tension in your torso at this point. Grasp hold of your elbows and just breathe here. Letting the head hang heavy, feeling that stretch on the back of the legs. So the posterior chain is always, or generally, the tightest part of the body. For most people, we sit down on sofas, cars. When we exercise, we don't stretch our hamstrings. Bend the knees generously, tuck the chin. We're going to roll up slowly through the spine, allowing the muscles running up the back to have a chance to stretch off. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Let's go again. Inhale, reach up tall. Grass pose, pistol. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach, exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach, squeeze the shoulder blades together, leave the chest as you fold forward to the ground. You can touch the ground, that's fantastic. If not, grasp over the elbows, and let's just add a little bit of movement in here. At no point during this mobilization stretch kind of workout should you be holding your breath, okay? Your breath is key. Every time you exhale, your body will naturally relax and sink that a little bit more. From there, place the right hand into the center, bend that right knee generously and kind of shift the weight across, okay? Shift the weight across and keep that right hand down. You should feel the stretch go into in that inner left groin. Reach that left hand up and breathe. Now you might not be all the way up, that's absolutely fine. When you're doing a mobilization, it's obviously, it's all subject to what you can do. Breathe. But you take yourself to the point of which you are in challenge, but not in too much stretch physically, and then you take your breath there and ease into it. Or change sides. When you're transitioning from move to move, be careful not to jump, push or bounce. Take it to the point where you can control it and then home. Nice. Right hand comes down. From this position, hands come down to the floor. Bend the knees generously if you need to. Step the left foot back. Step the right foot back, but we're keeping them nice and wide. Okay? From there, fingertips spread. Push down for all ten digits, or nine digits and two thumbs. Lift the hips and push back. Thumbs not digit, is it? No. So as I'm pushing back, I'm sinking down through both heels. This is a downward dog, a classic yoga kind of move. But we're going to mix 
legs up. So we're going to bend that right knee generously and we're going to straighten that left leg. We're going to push down more through the right hand and then into the left heel. Belly button sucked in, pelvic floor pulled up. You're going to lift and then we're going to drop to the opposite side. Push down through the right heel, push down through the left heel of the hand. Bend that left leg generously. Let's go. Lift up and drop down. This is a great stretch for the back of the calves. Also starts to engage your core, your belly button is sucked in, your hips are going high. Nice, come back to pushing down through both. Rock forward, belly button sucked in, core engaged. When you're in this position, I want you to think about hollowing out through your shoulders and tilting that pelvis anteriorly. So what I mean by that is, this is your twerk, which we do most of our exercises in, this is your anterior tilt, okay, and it engages your core. Hold that position. We're going to lower our chest down to the floor for the count of five. Let's go. Don't bounce. Four. All the way down. We're going to go down to touch. Three, two, one. Collapse down. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Uncurl the toes. Bring the hands up slightly and inhale, lift. So when I'm inhaling and lifting here, I'm not pushing up with my arms. I'm lifting with my back muscles to engage them. Okay, and mobilize them. My hands here are merely there for support. Inhale. I don't want to be hunched here as well. No point. Shoulders back and down. That's the position we need to be in. Exhale. Now come up onto the fingertips, gain a little bit more space. Inhale. And exhale. Come down. Okay, push back onto your knees. Set your position. Make sure your knees are underneath your shoulders. Uh, That'd be why. Your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders, your fingertips are spread. We're going to do some cat cows. Okay, so we're going to inhale, drop our belly button down to the floor, take our back of our head towards our buttocks. But as we do that, I'm going to pull actively between my wrist and my thigh, and I'm going to pull my chest through. So I'm going to inhale, deep, and then on the exhale, I'm going to push the ground away. I'm going to tuck my chin, and I'm going to separate my shoulder blades. This is one of these moves that people have probably done for their life and thought, yeah, nah, it doesn't do anything. And when you actually think about it, and think about the coaching points, roll the shoulder blades back on your back, drop that belly button, suck the pelvic floor in, inhale deep, so you get those intercostal muscles expanding. And then on the exhale, really push the ground away. Try to create that space between the shoulder blades, give yourself a little bit of side roll you'll really start to get into those back muscles. Inhale, pull through. Exhale. It is such a good move for mobilising the spine. Your erector spinal muscles have just either lasted all day when you stood up and sat down, or they've just been laid on a bed for the last eight hours in the same position. They need to be mobilised and stretched and moved. One more time. Exhale. Over exaggerate the breath here. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. From this position, send the right leg out to the side. Okay, you're going to inhale, drop back. Feel that lovely stretch coming down that inner thigh. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, come forward. Inhale. So your hips are usually the culprit in exercise for causing your squats to be bad, bad your lunges to be bad, most movement patterns to be bad, to be honest. So we're really going to get in and stretch off all those muscles that attach into that pelvic area. Use your breath. One more time. Drop back. And rock forward. Nice, bring the knee back in. Spread the fingertips. Always have a good awareness to how you've grounded to the floor. Curl the toes, push back to downward dog. We're going to inhale, we're going to kick that leg right up into the sky. Hold it for a split second. Feel your glutes activate. And then on the exhale, we're going to step it through the hands. Okay, dropping that back knee. Now, if that leg didn't come all the way up, that's fine. Just edge it forward now. We're going to make sure that knee doesn't come over the toe. We're going to drop down our hip here into hip flexor stretch. 
We're going to sweep our arms up. Hold. Make sure you've not compressed that front knee. You're feeling that stretch as you drop that hip down, pulling that chest up so it increases the stretch even a bit further. Hip flexors when we're sat down in cars, at desks, at tables, on sofas, are the ones that stay tight in for the longest. So it's good to spend a bit of time. Now if you want to increase that stretch, lift up, drop across, or place a hand down to the floor and reach up to the opposite side of the room and you'll get a lovely side body stretch at the same time. Hands come down, we're going to raise our body weight up, we're going to step the right foot back, we're going to push back to downward dog, that's my timer, I always run over so we've got another minute here. Inhale, kick that left leg up, hold it, stabilise through three points of contact, on the exhale, step the leg through, drop the right knee, sweep the arms up. If you want to increase it, lift up, come across, stabilise, or place the hands down. Oh, that's nice and deep this one for me. Make sure you keep dropping that hip. Nice. Bring the hands down, raise it up, step the weight back, push back to downward dog. Now start to walk the feet in one step at a time, pushing down through the heels, bending the knees generously to walk the hand, feet up towards the hands. Tuck the chin and roll up slowly through the spine. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. We've got one quick stretch for the last 30 seconds. I'll take the coat off and prepare for the next part. Inhale up, drop that right hand down, left hand finds the elbow, pull that fingertips down your spine, pull that elbow into your head, and from there, belly button step in, just take it into a lovely side body stretch at the same time. We don't spend much time opening up the upper body. Inhale, reach. Drop the hand down, grab hold of the elbow, hug it into you, reach your fingertips down the spine, and side body stretch. Reach the fingertips up, grasp the hands together, hollow out the shoulders, push the hands away, belly button sucked in, drop the head. And relax there. Oh. Okay. So that was just over a 10 minute mobilization. I'm gonna go straight into the next part, which is the 10 minute hit. My body is definitely warmed up and um, mobilized ready for that. If you wanna use this one just as a mere morning routine or a nighttime routine, it just start to get any aches and kinks out of the body and it also identify any areas that might become problematic if you have got any postural issues or tightness occurring. I hope this helps, have a nice day.